Hello YouTube, welcome to this tutorial. Today I'll be showing you the truth table for Boolean logic. So go ahead and uh, you want to make two static variables, both of them must be Boolean. Uh, first one we're going to set to true, just copy that. And second one we are going to set to false, and obviously change the identifier. Okay, next thing you want to do is you want to type in your main method, so it will run the program. And then inside the main method, all you want to do is you want to type in SISO, control and space. So it gives you the system out print line function. And here we want to go condition. And then tab that and then result. Okay, basically if you don't know what the uh, backslash, ta backslash tab is, it's, ba it's basically uh, just to tab it out so it looks a bit neater. Okay, so then we want to go ahead and create four more print line statements. Okay, first one we want to go is true and true, make sure you spell it right, and then tab that out as well. And then you want to go and you want to give it the actual condition. So seeming as we want to go say true and true, and i is equal to true, go ahead and in the, state, in the brackets here, print i and i. Okay, so just go ahead, copy that, and paste it in the other brackets there. Okay, so next thing we want to go do is we want to change the statements to f true and false, false and true, and then false and false. Then we need to go and change the actual conditions here. So the first one must be true, second one must be false, so we're going to change the second one. Next one here, first one is false, so we need to change the first one, and then here we need to change both of the variables there. Okay, so go ahead and run the program and we'll give you the table here. So for the condition true and true, the result is true. For the condition true and false, the result is false. For the condition false and true, the result is false. And for the condition false and false, the result is still false. Thank you very much. Have a look at our other tutorials.